Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a fault tolerance in object-based systems, guys. Okay? Okay. So, I'll be just giving an overview, guys, because I am not having that much clear idea on this concept. Okay? Okay. So, fault tolerance. So, what is fault tolerance, guys? So, if something goes wrong in your components or in your system, so the rest of the components should not get affected with this, guys. Affected by this, right? So, that is nothing but your fault tolerance. The concept of fault tolerance. Okay. So let us continue. So basically in fault tolerance to avoid these issues. So fault tolerance, sorry, the CORBA, that is nothing but CORBA, the object based system, it will be using the segments with the specific details. Guys. So basically there is a very less chance that there could be going something wrong. Okay, so this is the structure it should be using and it will be storing all the things inside it. So basically if you, have, if you sometimes you, you might be confusing what is these arrows, right? So inside profile, this is there. Inside components, these are there. Like that. Inside these, these are there. Inside these, these are there. Like that. So that structure they are trying to represent with these dots and arrows, guys. Okay. So this is the structure and you can just explain in your own words. Like which is inside, which is inside this, these are there. Inside this, these are there. Like that you can explain in terms of steps, step by step, right? Yes. Okay. So, and this is the architecture for Corba guys. Okay. You can just draw it and you can explain guys. Okay. I think already we know about uh, interceptors, replications. Okay. So interceptors, I think it will be in fourth unit guys. I think if you are watching this unit by unit, you check once in fourth unit. I think I discussed or in some unit I discussed about it guys. Okay. Yes. So this is just the architecture diagram. Okay. And similarly, we are having even for Java also, we are having the fault tolerance. That is nothing but EJB we are discussing, right? Yes. Okay. So for that also we are having this system. Okay. Yes. So JVM that is nothing but Java Virtual Machine can execute native code. That is a code that is external to the JVM and provides to the later through an interface. So basically through an interface we'll be getting these kind of data guys and everything will be done. So input data may be subjected to non non-determinism so basically there will be no updates in it okay so it is presencing of so in the presence of a failure a different jvm so will produce a different output so re revealing that the machine has been replicated so basically if you ask for some kind of data to multiple servers in some situations there could be a chance that we get multiple data from the same objects like we are using the same replicated objects but we are getting different so that could also be an issue right yes okay so similarly, we are having the global security. That's nothing but globe security. That's nothing but GLOBE, right? Yes. So here you will be using the user certificates, uh, replicated certificates and administrative certificates. So basically how you will be using in a web, we will be using SSL, right? So SSL is a certificate, right? Secured certificate, right? Yes. So in the same way, you will be using for user as well as for your replicated server and for administrator. So they will be having their own keys and the signature. So based on those, you can check whether they are original or they are fake, right? Yes. So this is all about the fault tolerance. Guys, I just gave you some introduction. You can say, okay, yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the security, guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.